You know, it's funny, Rob. Yesterday on the John Campia Show, we were talking about DC fandom and what we can expect to come out of the upcoming DC fandom. I believe it's coming in October. And what we can expect. And we went through this whole list of properties. And then we talked about Green Lantern Corps. And beside it, we had some question marks because we're like, okay, so they said they're doing it. They've made several announcements, but we haven't heard anything about it in a while. So I don't know what the status of it is right now. Uh, I don't know if they're going to talk about it at DC Fandom. Well, timing was perfect because 24 hours later, we do get an official announcement. And that is American Horror Story and Versace American Crime, uh, Finn Wittrock, has been cast to play the Green Lantern known as Guy Gardner. Now, of course, Guy Gardner is not one of the more popular ones. Like he's, you know, he's not Jon Stewart and he's not, uh, you know, the, the big prime Green Lanterns. But he's a guy that'll often come up. Guy Gardner is a bit of a dick, but he's a lovable yep. dick. I love the <laughs> Guy Gardner Green Lantern. I really do. Uh, I mean, I'm not nearly as interested in the Guy Gardner Green Lantern as I am in the other prime Green Lanterns primarily the main Green Lantern, but uh, this is an interesting, particularly because, like I said, just yesterday, we were talking about this, and we just didn't know what the status of this project was. This is the first bit of, like, real concrete development that we've seen for Green Lantern in a little while, and it's very promising. Now, look, I, I gotta tell you, Rob, I don't know Finn's work. I don't watch American Horror Story. I never watched Versace. What was it called again? Versace American Crime. Was that the name yeah, of it? Yeah, he was great in that. I heard. I've heard nothing but great things about that show. I've heard or about that that's that's uh, that story. I've heard nothing but great things about it. I just haven't seen it myself. So I am very light on how much I know about him. So I can't give any commentary about whether I think he's a good fit for it. If I even yeah. think he's talented, clearly, I think he's got a couple of Emmy nominations. So clearly he's talented. But more importantly, we now have official movement. This thing is still going. It hasn't been lost, uh, gone by the wayside with all these other big announcements coming out, which is pretty exciting. Rob, you hear they finally uh, done some casting. We've now got our guy Gardner, which is interesting that we're even getting Guy Gardner in there. What do you think about this development? Look, I think it's great. Uh, you know, I've loved Guy Gardner. Uh, for me, it goes all the way back to the mid '80s Justice League International series that was a more comedic series. And there's a very famous scene where Batman takes him out with one punch, and it becomes a <laughs> running joke. And uh, you know. Uh, Guy Gardner is, as you put it, the uh, he's he's the lovable douche, <laughs> Green Arrow, <laughs> Green Lantern, and I I, I think it's I, you know it's I like his outfit. I like he's kind of got this '80s. I like the '80s version with the flaps and like the chains and the belt. I he's got the go bowl haircut direction. too. That bowl yeah, haircut. I, mean, I I I think though as an actor, uh, he's gonna really pull off Guy Gardner. I wonder if they're gonna dye his hair orange. I don't know. But it'll be interesting to see. Now, don't uh, – unless – notwithstanding people getting confused here, this show is not going to revolve around Guy Gardner. Right. This is going to be a show that spans several decades. It's going to go all the way back to the original Green Lantern, Alan – I keep forgetting the, the original Green Lantern's name, Alan something or other, who is actually like one of the first gay characters in, in D.C., uh, we're going to get Jon Stewart, and we're going to get in who is, to me, the Green Lantern, which is Hal Jordan. So we're still going to get these things, too. This is going to go from the 40s to the 80s to modern day. Like, the exact specifics of it, I'm not sure. But they've got one of the pieces in place now. They've got their guy, Gardner. So it shows, it shows us this Green Lantern thing is moving forward, guys. Question is for you. Do you know Finn's work? What do you think of him as an actor? I, I'm very light on my knowledge of him as an actor. Do you guys know it? What do you think of him as a performer? And what do you think about this whole thing about Green Lantern Corps officially finally getting some things going? How do you guys feel about it? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.